What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol ANY for Sphere 3D Corp. Now, on the left hand side, we are looking at the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. Let's jump in by mapping out obvious areas of support and resistance from that daily perspective, just scrunching this up a bit. I think we'll clearly all notice this area in here that acted as resistance. You can see multiple upper wicks in here, rejection and rejection on that most recent test. And now we've gapped up and over it. So that is noteworthy. Uh, this is before for the earnings announcement, which looks like it is scheduled to come out on the 13th after the market closed. So that's something to be on your radar if you're someone who's trading this name. Uh, obviously, after that, we just need to map out the gap area, right? So very coincidental that we had a double top at the gap close, $3.48. And obviously, today's low, if we start to break it, would put the gap fill into play underneath $4.36. So any trading underneath, your first pit stop is down below at $3.83. And then, of course, the gap close down to $3.48, at which point in time, I would start to look for a gap fill reversal, honestly, simply because of the nature of this move here. You know, it strikes me as, you know, rather bullish, to be honest with you, uh, simply looking at the chart history. You know, when we were holding up in this area prior, it completely fell apart like a number of times after we tried to retest it. But since we've done it once, twice and three times, and it's sort of more, more relentless just holding up in this area, you know, I, I would I would actually potentially look for the gap fill reversal. Simple as that. Um, so that's a potential bullish play. Let's now focus on the 30 minute time frame chart to see what's going on with today's price action obviously happening up here in no man's land. Um, so, you know, consolidation pretty much inside bars. The opening range was well defined in the first hour of the day, and we consolidated into a very rough triangle that would look something like that. I wouldn't be comfortable drawing it in simply because of how uh, easy it could potentially break sideways through time and rather just focus on these horizontal areas. So 475 strikes me as important simply because prior resistance then turned to support and support in here as well. And we sort of have these upper wicks uh, you know, stacking towards the last hour of the day here. So 475, we would hope that it would act as support, you know, and do something like this, maybe into Monday and earlier on in the week. Uh, but the level to beat essentially is here, these upper wicks, right? So we'll just map that out as resistance close to $5.07. So to me, the only trade to take long is a break over 507 to revisit uh, today, Friday's high of day here at $5.61. I would avoid looking for the bounce off of today's low and rather wait to see what happens on a break underneath the low. Maybe we half fill the gap. Maybe we come all the way into this 383. Maybe we fill the gap all the way, right? But either way, I wouldn't go long here simply at the low of the day. It's just not the most risk-friendly setup. I'd wait for lower if that is the case. So if you learned something new from this video, if you enjoyed the potential setup or ideas that we've discussed so far, let me know down below in the comments section or by simply leaving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked down below in the description. And all of that being said, we wish you a green trading week.